Do you ever get really bored of practicing scales, endlessly running up and down and up and down? While scales are really good for finger dexterity and technique, Sometimes it can feel like we're missing something. As keys players, we spend most of our time playing chords. So what if we could go from practicing scales as single notes to playing scales where every note is harmonized with a beautiful chord? Let's dive in. Hello, welcome to the Keys Coach YouTube channel. My name's Adam and in this video, I'm going to show you a really simple four step method for how you can take your scale practice to the next level. I use this all the time in my practice. I find it really, really useful. I'm gonna take you through it. Here's step one. So before you start, it's really important that you have the major scale under your fingers. We're gonna do this in the key of C, so it's all the white notes. So the next step is to add a bass line and we're gonna play that bass line with our left hand and I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. So those notes are C, B, C, A, E, F, D, C. If I play both of them together, it sounds like this. I'll do it again. So the next step is to fill in the triads. We're gonna add two extra notes in our right hand. And we're really only gonna use three different chords. We're gonna use C, we're gonna use F, and we're gonna use G. Chords one, four, five in the key of C major. So watch this. Let me break down what's going on for you there. So I'm starting on a C, moving to a G over B, moving to a C, F over A, C over E, F, D, C. When I'm saying that a chord is over something, for example, C over E, I'm saying that in my right hand, I'm playing a C, and in my left hand, I'm playing an E. It's an inversion. And can you see that the scale I'm playing completely with my little finger? I'm literally doing that with the chord underneath. I'll show you. Okay, this is where it starts to get really interesting. Let's move on to step three. So it's now time to think about how we can add some color into our chords. Now, what do I mean by color? Color means any note you can add to a chord to make it richer. I like major and minor triads, but sometimes they just need an extra note just to give them a little bit of something and make them ring a little more. I'm gonna do this mainly by putting in what we call an add nine. So to do this, you take a regular major triad and you add in the second note and it just creates this really rich sound rather than the straight triad. Do you see how that sounds a little bit more basic? That extra note just gives it something, it rings a little more. So we're gonna try and do this on each chord. Let me just show you one more thing actually. If I play a sequence, right? It feels like every chord there is kind of going chord, 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 listen. But if I make those add nine chords, do you hear that? Suddenly the chords meld together, it's like a glue. I call the add nine like a glue, it's just a way of melding chords together and you don't want to overuse it because it can become really kind of saturated in your playing but it's really good to practice it because if you ever want to glue a sequence together, add nine is so powerful. There's a few extra ones. But it gives you an idea, right? So now let's look at how you can add this color to this harmonized scale. Now I'm pretty much gonna make every chord an add nine chord, bar a few of them, watch this. talk you through what I'm doing there. So I'm going C. That's like a G add nine over B, moving to a C add nine, F add nine over A, C add nine over E, F add nine, G over D, I'm gonna keep that one regular, going back to a C. And you can practice that over and over again. And one of the ways I like to make that feel a little bit less rigid is to try and make it flow a little bit more and add some more rhythm. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. 
And all I'm doing there is I'm just arpeggiating those notes in my right hand. Now there is one more step and that is to add some movement into the harmonized scale. Let me show you what it sounds like. So all I'm doing there is I'm just adding a little movement on each chord. Mainly what I'm doing is I'm moving the ninth up to the third or I'm moving the ninth down to the root. Let me show you again. And you can really get creative with this and come up with your own harmonizations of this major scale. By the way, if you want to practice this, I've put together a free PDF lesson book which will take you through exactly how to harmonize these scales step by step. I go through all the steps I've gone through in this video. You can get that down below, click the link in the description, it's completely free. Okay, so there is one thing we haven't done yet. You might be thinking, I know what to do now on the way up the scale, but what do I do on the way down? I'm gonna show you that right now. This is how I harmonize the way down. So that bass line is. Now I'll add the chords. A minor seven, E minor seven, F, C over E, D minor seven, C over G, G, C. If I add some color into that. So beautiful, I love doing this. It's such great methodical practice and it really just gets those sounds under your fingers. The other thing I love about it is the keys is such a tactile instrument. Each key on the piano, whether you're in the key of D flat, E flat, A, all of them, they all feel very different. And this exercise is great for getting the feel of that key under your fingers, how the black and the white notes sit under your fingers, it's great. So how could you take this to the next level where you could practice it in each key? This is something I regularly do. I'm gonna find out whether I can do it with talking at the same time. <laughs> or maybe, or no. Something like that, it's much harder to talk, talk and do it at the same time. What I also love to do is freely improvise with it, so see if I can get it out of the box by adding in extra rhythms and extra little parting notes here and there. You can also try this on your various minor scales and modes. For example, if I wanted to do Mixolydian. But I'm gonna save that for another video. But do go ahead and try this out, it's so, so useful. Do remember to go and grab the free PDF lesson book, which will take you through step by step on how to get this into your playing. If you've got something out of this, it would be amazing if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. I want to grow this channel into an amazing community of keys players, musicians. There's gonna be loads of free resources to help take your keys playing to the next level. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.